Okay, in today's video we're going to be looking at the Blue Driver Scan Tool. This is a Bluetooth device and I guess Oreo is going to help us do the review today. Hi Oreo! Okay, this is like real simple. You just plug it into your port and you sync it with your phone, with the phone app. <clears throat> Some of the things I really like about this one, it's real simple to use. You just plug it in, start the app. <clears throat> it works on unlimited vehicles. I used to have one, not Blue Driver, but a different uh, device. You literally had to pay a subscription per vehicle. I don't know why anybody would want to do that, but at least with this one. So that's a great thing. There's no subscription fees to this. And here in a second, we'll show you what the app looks like. Okay, so here we are, we're in the app, and here at the top you'll see the vehicle identification number, which I will have blocked out in the actual video. And let's see, it's found, this will scan every single module in the car, so I get, uh, I got three codes. Now the check engine light was not on for these, this is not check engine stuff, but this is just basic body modules. I have, uh, let's see, system readiness check, the car hasn't warmed up enough, so it's... 1000 and left front window relay circuit it still works but the computer detected a problem if you click on these it'll tell you how common the problem is which in my case is uncommon and then it will give you a link to what it believes the part would be you'd need I mean a whole bunch of stuff could be wrong but in my case, I think I just replaced the window motor with a generic window motor, and it's not liking it. So that's that. Go back out. You can clear all the codes. Let's hit clear codes. Clear all codes. It'll do it. Okay, all codes are cleared. You go back, you get you save your ports. This freeze data is really nice for when the check engine light comes on. It'll show you exactly what was going on when that occurred. You got that smog check if you live in a state that has the emissions test. Uh, this will tell you if you're going to pass or not before you get over there. Uh, it's mode 6, it has mode 6. I don't particularly use this that much because basically I'm um, probably one grade above shade tree mechanic somewhere in there. I just work on my cars, my friends' cars, family's cars, stuff like that. But this tool comes in handy for all of that. There's your mode 6 page. By the way, I'm working on a 99 Ford Ranger right now. Let's see. Check engine light status, it's off, of course. We just cleared code, so it was off anyway. Uh, vehicle information, you can do vehicle specifications, the maintenance schedule, potential recalls, there's a whole bunch of stuff in that. I actually had a recall in one of them for the, uh, the master cylinder. So I actually found out about that on here. Uh, service bulletins, you got that. Maintenance schedule tells you what you need to do. This has got uh, 229,000 on the clock, so kind of didn't help me much on that. Uh, let's see. Live data. We'll do live data. That comes in handy if you're actually outside working under the hood. And plus, this is wireless, so you can have your phone or tablet with you while you're doing it cold out here by the way, 48 degrees intake temperature. And of course I do find this useful if I want to like take it for a drive to a little you can monitor everything while you're driving too. 
while someone else is driving while you're playing with the phone. But there's all the data that this particular vehicle gives up. And what do we got under more? Uh, update sensor, this manual, user manual settings. Okay, that's just the basics. Go back to scan tool. Overall, I've had it for uh, a couple of years now. I definitely would recommend it. Uh, see, the only thing that it doesn't do that I kind of wish it would do would have bi-directional communication. It does not do that. But overall, I'm completely satisfied with it. It gets the job done. It does what I need it to do. Anyways, hope this helps. This is Pumpkin, and he's busy, but wondering why you haven't subscribed yet. If you liked our video, 